Peace and blessings be with you. My name is Akila Nice, and I, oh, I reluctantly make this video dealing with Dr. Sebi's office, the scandal uh, surrounding the office, and the scandal surrounding the validity of the products now, which I feel, which is based upon misinformation. I have a Facebook health group um, based upon the Dr. Sebi methodology. The name of the group is uh, Alkaline Plant-Based Diet, Dr. Sebi Inspired. Now, within the group, you know, we share information to help each other to um, better our health using the methodology. And one thing that comes up um, is, are his products from the office um, still good? And I always say yes. And the reason why people ask me the question is because all of this misinformation that's on the web, and basically on YouTube, these videos um, by family members, some family members um, that are discrediting the office. Now, some of this, this information is based upon misinformation. It's taking certain things that happen within a timeline and using it for their benefit um, to basically undermine the office and to sell their own products. So again, I am reluctant in addressing this, but I feel I must because you knows my duty to protect the methodology and the legacy that Dr. Sebi left. To be clear, his legacy is the methodology, the Dr. Sebi Nutritional Guide, the LA office, and the Honduras, the Usha village, uh, healing, Usha healing village in Honduras. Sorry about that. Um, so that's his legacy, what he left. And I feel that is my duty to protect that legacy. And I accept that duty because I was healed um, using the methodology. And it changed my life, my life around. Um, basically set me on the path of what I'm doing now. So let me start off about where all this confusion came about. And I'm going to use videos to back up what I'm saying. In 2014, Dr. Sebi basically lost his, his company and he had to restart his company. And he lost the company um, dealing because, uh, I hate to like get into this, but because of... Um, certain family members who basically tried to take the business away from him. It was Dr. Sebi's products at that time, um, and he rebranded to become Dr. Sebi's cell food. And during that time, because people complain to talk about, oh, the office, the products were compromised. And it's not the products were compromised after his death, his passing. The products were compromised before he passed. And Dr. Sebi said this and that he had to restructure the company. And it was between 2004 and 2014 that the products were compromised. And during that time, the reason why they were compromised because he went to Honduras. That's where he lived. But he moved down there permanently to take care of the village, um, the Usha village. And during that time, the people that he left in charge of the products and in charge of the company were not doing justice by the company and he was getting complaints that the products weren't the same. Again, this is not while he was alive. I mean, this is not after he passed. This was before he passed. This was between 2004 and 2014. So he had to go back to the company, clear out the company and restart. And he had to do this. He was basically left with nothing. He had to redo this with Pablo and Jenny. They all had to become partners and put money into the business so Dr. Sebi would be able to still have the company. The company was basically taken away from him. It was swindled. So he had to go to court. So I'm going to show documents, one where he states that, you know, he had to restructure the company and documents where he had to take Patsy, who now goes by the name of Dr. Sebi's wife, and she uses that name after basically after he passed from what I understand and um and his daughter Zavi, which is really unfortunate, and some other members. So he had to take them to court 
restart the whole business from scratch and had to restart with Jenny and Pablo because if not, he wouldn't be able to start the business again. So let's go to that clip. Again, I'm going to post links to the articles and videos I mentioned in this video below in the details section. Uh, and I'll hopefully post some where you get some pop-up links up top in the video. Why do I stay in business over 30 years? In the last 20 years, my name and the business has gained the position that they have placed us as being someone that responsible for the health and responded with something that complements our genetical predisposition. That went on for the first 20 years, but in the last 10 years, it has changed profile. And the reason for that is, I had to go to Honduras and build a village, and building a house, now I'm building a garden, and I'm doing a whole lot of other things. And I was thinking that the protocol was maintained by the people that was in position. I come to find out, not so. So yes, I have to restructure. So now, in the restructuring, I had to find people that were pe people person, you know, interrelate with people, that love people, not money. Now, I have Jenny, I have Pablo, I have Giordano, or I have Jessica, I have Lydia, and last but not least, Jesenia. And they all seem to synergize. They all work in harmony with the same degree of love. And I've been looking for that. So when people want to talk about, oh, the office has been infiltrated by the man, nobody infiltrate the office. The people that's in the office now are the people that Dr. Sevi put in the office. They are the people that help him keep his business because he would have lost it. So they put up their money. We talk about Jenny and Pablo. Um, and they had to become, they became partners with Dr. Sebi and the company or else Dr. Sebi would have lost everything. And he would have lost everything because of, huh, basically people trying to steal his business. Those people were named in a legal document, Patsy and his, who calls herself, who calls herself Dr. Sebi's wife and his daughter Zave were named in the um in the lawsuit in 2005 dr sebi left his business in the hands of his daughter zave chapman his wife patsy williams and neela collins while he conducted research to develop new herbal products in honduras would you just trust those that you had given so much love to nine years went by before he started suspecting those that he had trusted with his company once he returned to la he found nina and patsy had taken over his business with the help of his own daughter zave chapman He immediately filed a lawsuit against them and the companies they created to sell products to his clients under his name. Accusing them of things such as wrongful appropriation of business, fraud, false advertising, conversion, and defamation. In such lawsuit, he explains the events and the way they unfolded. I align myself with women that are bad. I have some rotten ones around me now. My wife, my ex-wife, my manager, my daughters, they all conspired against me. Now you have some people that want to make an issue or want to say that the office is compromised. That the boogeyman or the CIA or white man took control of it is messing with the products. That's misinformation. They used sound bites from Dr. Sebi um, where he said the office was compromised um, to bolster their argument. It's misinformation. When Dr. Sebi said the office was compromised, he was talking about the office being run between 2005 and 2014. And he had to take those people um, to court to gain control of his company because they would try to steal his company away from him. And during that time, he said 
that the products were compromised. He was getting complaints between 2005 and 2014, and that's why he had to come back up from Honduras and go to the office. But when he went up, he found everything was closed up and was taken away. So he had to go to court, and um, in that, he really he had to end up restarting a new business. I think the old business was Dr. Sebi Products, and he had to make a new company, which became Dr. Sebi Cell Food. But this is all because the previous people that worked for him tried to steal his company. So they compromised the products. They were the ones. It wasn't the white man. It wasn't the boogeyman. It wasn't the CIA. They compromised the products. They tried to steal his company. So Dr. Sebi, um, with everything being taken away, he had to start from scratch. He had to go into business with Jenny and Pablo. They had to put up their own money to help restart the business. That's the position that they put him in. Many people have been complaining about the quality of the treatment that they were receiving in my absence. I've been absent for 10 years, trusting the people that was here before, but that's okay. We are on watch now, and it has changed. And I'm glad that it's changed because the new product will be on the market and you will experience it. Thank you very much. Now from 2014 to 2016, Dr. Sebi, Pablo, Jenny, and the rest of the office had to work on regaining people's trust in the product. And that's not something easy to do. One of the reasons is, is because information was already put out by Dr. Sebi himself saying that the product was compromised. Now, everyone is not up to speed or know everything was going on, so they get a sound bite here or there, and they stick with that. So a lot of people go, and there's in their mind, Dr. Sebi said the products were compromised, which he did say, but he was talking about at a particular time period between 2005 and 2014. From 2014 to 16, he was working with the new people in the company to reestablish people's trust in the products. And that's what they did. And they were successful. But something happened. Dr. Sebi's unfortunate passing in, in 2016 to set everything afire. It allowed opportunity for people who did not have the opportunity before. Now, because of what Dr. Sebi been through with family members trying to steal the company, he isolated himself um, away from people that he felt that was harmful to him. And basically family that was with him um, was a family in Honduras. His daughter, Sama, who lived with him at the uh, Usha village, and their youngest daughter. And what he did in his will, he left everything to them too, to just the two of them. And that caused a lot of problems in the family. After Dr. Sebi's passing, um, Patsy put out a video undermining the LA office and its products. Um, in the beginning of the video, she explained that she was still grieving Dr. Sebi and that she was reluctant to make the video. What she failed to explain also was that Dr. Sebi had put out a lawsuit against her in 2014 and that he actually said the products were compromised um, between 2005 and 2014, and that they were compromised on her watch. Dr. Sebi's daughter, who Dr. Sebi left the Usha Healing Village to, and his shares in the LA office, she reluctantly responded to the video. Um, to make, to be clear, Patsy is not Sama's mother. Um, Sama is Dr. Sebi's daughter from another wife. And this further adds to the, complica the complications in the family dynamics. You know, I, I didn't even want to talk because of the fact, you know, my husband, I'm still grieving my husband. I this is a post from Sama's timeline. Sama is Dr. Sebi's daughter. Um, I pulled this post from a uh, so Facebook timeline. And this is in response to the video that Patsy put out 
undermining the credibility of the office. Now, this is what Sama had to say in response to the video. It's funny how people all of a sudden start making false statements and drama. I would love to ask the people that were present at my dad's funeral if they ever saw these people that are talking negatively and making lies. No. You know why? Because dad didn't want to see them or know anything about them. Now they try to act like they care. He was in jail for two months. Did his so-called wife that loved him so much as ever go visit him or support him with anything? No, she did not. Since 2014, he cut all type of communication with her. You are going to start talking about how you loved him and talk about a compromised business? Where were you when his office was left with nothing? Jenny and Pablo were the only ones who supported him. If you and he were so together, I wonder where you were since 2014. He wanted absolutely nothing to do with you. You were out there enjoying all the things that you guys stole, not to mention, also mention, the court case. Please don't make me say anything else. Because of my situation, I'll have a Facebook support group for Dr. Sebi and being a supporter of his methodology, I do feel that I need, because of what I've been exposed to, all the information, I need to share it because a lot of the popular information being shared is based upon misinformation and it just doesn't draw a correct or complete picture of what has transpired, what has happened. Again, I don't know everything, um, but I know that what I see, there's a lot more that needs that needed to be explained. And I hope you got that from the information that I shared in the video. So I know that if Dr. Sebi was alive and while he was alive, he only supported the sale of products through the LA office and he supported Usha Village. Now, not hating on anybody else, especially because, you know, a lot of families involved, not hating on them doing their thing, selling their products. Um, but what I, what I do feel that needs to be addressed is some of the methods that's being used to do that. Um, it's really not cool. Um, so, I mean, you make your decision. I hope this had give you more of a complete picture of what has, you know, what's going on. And, um, you know, you decide you do what you want to do, but me supporting and being thankful for the change that following the methodology has brought to my life and being supportive of the methodology, I have to support what Dr. Sebi left. I have to support the LA office and Usha Village. Now I'm saying that, I'm like, they we need to support because they need our help also. Um, and they need us to help them keep being strong and get stronger. Um, just like with any company, every company that I've been involved with and that I know um, all work constantly to make improvement because no company is perfect. Um, and they're working to improve themselves um, and there's a good foundation that is there. But even in that, they're still working to improve themselves. And just like with the company transition in 2014 to 2016, um, Dr. Sebi was constantly working to improve the products. So I am think I'll just leave it at that. Um, I hope I gave enough information. And one thing I want to make clear that this is not about hate. Um, Dr. Sebi was about love. Um, and even in that, you know, Dr. Sebi didn't, or kept quiet a lot of stuff that was happening because he didn't want to um, focus on negativity. Um, I think partly this is what allowed stuff to happen because he kept quiet on a lot of things people didn't know. Um, so that allowed people to misuse information. So now that the information is out, hope that makes things clear about how Dr. Sebi approached things and what has really transpired with Dr. Sebi and the company.
So I say um, peace and blessings be with you. Um, please share the video if you find it helpful and to get other people to know what's going on and have a better, complete understanding of what's going on. And uh, if you don't mind, you know, please subscribe to my channel. All right. Peace and blessings be with you.